Hi everyone, this is Fazluddin. Today I am going to show you the steps of creating Google Cloud function. Google Cloud function nothing but a serverless computing. Okay, nowadays serverless computing is very popular. So you can create Google Cloud functions as a service and you can use as per your requirement. So main benefits of uh, serverless computing is uh, no server management and auto scaling and pay as much you use. So these are the main three benefits you will get in serverless computing. Okay, so microservices also comes into the serverless concept. So it's a big concept. So I don't want to go into that into that concept. So let's start the creation of Google Cloud functions. Okay, let's go to that uh, Google Chrome. So I already opened this uh, Google Chrome. In that, uh, you have to type cloud.google.com. Once you type this one, if we click, then it will go to that uh, landing page of uh, Google Cloud platform. Okay, here you will have to log in and uh, if you don't have account you can create a free account and you can use it so i already have an account uh, in google cloud so just uh, i log in it so so it will take me to this uh, landing page here i have to click on console this is the main page where we will have all the services related to google cloud just click on uh, console button so once I click on it, it will take me to the uh, uh, landing page of uh, Google Cloud platform. So it's loading. So once, once it is uh, loaded, you can see the dashboard of this uh, Google Cloud platform. Here, uh, like uh, project wise uh, dashboard, it will show and it will show the uh, building details and uh, services. Uh, performance details and project details so i have created my project here like uh, my first project so you can create your uh, projects and you can uh, create your uh, cloud functions so to create the cloud function you need to go to that uh, menu and uh, from the menu you can see there are different uh, services related to cloud function cloud uh, platform so here i'm going to select cloud functions as we are going to create a cloud function so it will take me to that landing page of cloud functions this is the landing page for the cloud function here you can see create function button because we are coming first time so it will show this landing page with the create function button if you are coming uh, if you already have the cloud functions uh, it will show the uh, different landing page with a uh, uh, list of uh, cloud functions so just click on the create function to create our uh, cloud function so this is the creation page of uh, cloud function so here you can see the name field so you can give your uh, name here so whichever you want just function and uh, this next uh, value is uh, memory allocation i am going with the default uh, minimum uh, memory allocation you can increase up to 2 gp so i am using 256 mb and the trigger is the like how you are on to call this cloud function if you see here like there are different ways you can call uh, cloud function so i am selecting default value like http and uh, this is authentication if you want you can enable this button i am using unauthorized way only so i don't want to give any credentials here okay if you want to restrict this uh, cloud function uh, access you can uh, make the restrictions with the credentials okay and source code there are different ways you can create the source code one is uh, inline editor zip upload and uh, zip from uh, cloud functions you can have a zip code uh, a zip of source code and you can upload directly also and you can create your cloud functions if you select the different options you can uh, use that option and you can upload the details so i'm selecting inline uh, editor 
and uh, there are different technologies you can use to create the cloud functions like uh, node.js and uh, go and uh, python so i am selecting uh, node.js as part of this demo so below you can see the source code sample source code it will create by default and here, here you can add your business logic and you can call any external other apis also and you can uh, render the data and you can return it and you can trigger any other services from this uh, source code and uh, below one is uh, functions to execute functions to execute so here the function name so which function in the source code you are triggering as part of uh, this uh, cloud function so if you see here hello world we are giving the source code so same thing we are given in this uh, field okay apart from this is the basic uh, information you need to provide and uh, that's all you can create your uh, cloud function if you want to add any advanced values you can add by clicking on the below link like environment variables network related details time watch details and uh, any other uh, details you can add it uh, like by going into that uh, advanced feature okay now i am not going into that detail so just i will click on uh, create so once i click on the create button uh, it will start uh, creating my cloud function with the basic information so now it is creating so it might take a little bit time so we will wait for uh, that uh, creation okay so once it is created it will deploy into the cloud environment so we can access this uh, cloud function so it is loading so once it is loaded it will show the two different marks okay in front of uh, the function name one is a green mark and another one is a red mark green marks means see uh, now it is showing a green mark green mark means it is created successfully if there is any error to show the red mark so you have to check the logs for that so what error it happens when uh, function is created okay so now our uh, cloud function is uh, successfully created let's click on this link to go into that uh, the cloud function details okay just i'm clicking on it Now here you can see the four tabs in the cloud function page. One is general and uh, trigger and source and testing. General means uh, you see the matrix uh, uh, how we are who is calling this uh, cloud function invocation details and uh, execution time, memory usage, active instances, all those details. And uh, trigger means like uh, how you are going to trigger this uh, cloud function. Here is, you can see the URL like uh, HTTPS URL it will provide. So using this URL you can uh, trigger this uh, cloud function. Okay. So this is the benefit of uh, this uh, cloud function. Like once you created the uh, service, it will automatically generate you the HTTPS URL through which you can uh, interact with the cloud functions. Okay. Next tab is a source. So here you can see your uh, source code, what, what are the source code you written and uh, how you are going to execute this, uh, what business logic you are going to execute as part of this uh, cloud function. And uh, testing means if you want to test this uh, cloud function, you can pass some uh, parameter values and you can uh, test this cloud function here itself. So you can write the code, you can test it here itself and you can fix the issues directly. Okay, these are the benefits you will get in the cloud function uh, page. Okay, let's we'll see our uh, cloud function is working fine or not. So I will go to the source code. I want to explain what we are doing in that part of cloud function. As part of cloud function, what we have only two simple steps. One, we are setting some message and we are returning that message. Okay, so here what we are doing, we are adding message hello world. So once we trigger this uh, cloud function, you have to see this hello world message okay let's see our cloud function is working fine or not go to the trigger and uh, click on this url see you are able to see the message hello world so this is the message we are uh, returning from uh, cloud functions means our cloud function is created successfully let's see how to modify this uh, cloud function Okay, that is also I'm going to explain you. Just you click on edit button. You can see the edit button on the top. 
Just click on it to edit this uh, source code. Without clicking on it, you can't edit the code. Okay, I click on it. So now the our code is ready to edit. So now I am going, I am changing the message. Hello world from test function. So I modify the code. Now to reflect these changes, I have to deploy again. Okay, now I am going to deploy. Once you click on deploy, it will save the code and it will deploy into that uh, cloud environment. So our cloud function will be deployed successfully. Then we can uh, see the changes. So now it is uh, deploying, it will take a little bit time. If there is any error, it will show the error message. Okay, let's wait. Now it's deploying. Once it is deployed, we can uh, see the green mark beside to that. Then we can access the cloud function to check our changes. See, now it is deployed successfully. You, can, you are able to see the green mark in front of uh, our function name. Now I will go to that uh, URL which we triggered before and I will refresh it. See, our changes successfully deployed. So this is how you can uh, create the cloud function and uh, you can edit the cloud function and uh, to see the errors you can use the view logs okay and uh, in the view logs you can uh, find what are the errors it is throwing and you can fix it and you can uh, deploy it again with the changes then it will reflect immediately okay this is pretty straightforward and you can uh, create the cloud function with uh, minimal uh, steps okay and you can uh, create your serverless computing services okay and uh, this is what you have to do to create the cloud functions i hope you got the knowledge of creating the cloud functions with this uh, video okay and uh, to get uh, more technical videos please subscribe to my channel technology adda okay and uh, like my videos thank you so much